in navigation and surveying the direction or bearing from a point O to a point P, so like P1 could be an example, equals the acute angle acute less than 90 degree angle theta between the ray OP so that ray OP okay and the vertical line through O, okay? So this is my north-south line, all right? So the, the illustration over here, um, this illustrates some bearings. So notice that the bearings from O to P1, this one that we've done here, is denoted by the symbol. So this is denoted by north, and then we're gonna go 30 degrees east to the east, okay? If you forget this, never eat soggy waffles, all right? North, south, east, west. Okay, so um, indicating, remember we are in we're in East Texas, right? Just in case you didn't. Oh my goodness, look at that ugly. Okay, that's where we are. All right, so East Texas, North Texas, South Texas, West Texas. Okay, whatever, right? You know where we are. Okay, so um, if I wanted to do this one over here, okay, this P2. All right, um, the P2 would be what? It would be, well, I'm north, okay, I'm in the northern, but I'm actually going to the west 70 degrees, okay? North, west, 70 degrees. So north, 70 degrees west, okay? Now, if I was going to do this um, P3 down here. I'm actually down in the southern, so this is south, 50 degrees west, okay? And then this last one, this P4 here, this would actually be south, 20 degrees east, okay? So that kind of I guess that covers all the different ones here. Okay, so um, we've got a Boeing 777. So here's an example. So we got a Boeing 777 aircraft, 777, takes off from O'Hare Airport. Uh, on a runway, okay, so we've got, I'm going to do my axes, and here's my runway, <clears throat> so there's the runway, so the plane is taken off, all right, um, which has a bearing of north 20 degrees east, so I go north and then 20 degrees to the east, okay? After flying for one mile, so I fly for one mile, then what's gonna happen? The pilot of the aircraft requests permission to turn 90 degrees and head towards north e northwest. So northwest, so I'm gonna turn 90 degrees, and make a right angle. 90 degrees, and head this way. Now, um, the request is granted, 
after the plane goes two miles in this direction, what should the control tower use to locate the aircraft? So, so let me move this down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go two miles. So two miles this way, and so now we're right, we're right here, okay? So what angle, right, this whole angle here, okay, this whole angle here is theta, okay? So that's, that's the question, okay? All right, so after flying one mile from the airport, the aircraft is at point P. So we're right here. Okay, after turning 90 degrees and flying, then we get to point Q. Okay, so we've got this triangle OPQ. Okay, that's formed here. Now, what I want to know is the angle, okay, this angle theta here. Okay, how do I do that? Well, trigonometry says the tangent of theta is equal to what? The tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, 2 over 1. So the tangent inverse of tangent theta equals the tangent inverse of 2. So theta is equal to tangent inverse of 2, which is roughly 63.4 degrees. Now, this if this whole angle is 63.4, now I don't want that whole angle. I want this angle here, whatever that angle is there, because my relation, what this will be, will be north, whatever my angle west, right? And so I got to take off this 20 here. So I do 63.4 degrees minus 20 degrees gets me 43.4 degrees. So the bearing of the aircraft from the point O, where they took off, to Q, where the plane is, is north, 43.4 degrees west. Okay? And that's it, guys.